What do we got? Well, we got some whiskey from deep in the heart of Texas. We do. This is from San Antonio. Some fine two-year-old whiskey, as I recall. Yes, 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 yes. We tried this before on a Zoom tasting with the founder of Maverick Whiskey, Dr. Kenneth Maverick, and his uh, head distiller, Kevin Graham. And we had Kevin on a live stream. We did. Very nice guy. You very, had a very uh, nice conversation with him. Yeah, he was cool. He was very I cool. regretted I couldn't attend. I know. What happened? Everybody, you all, you uh, abandoned me. Some sort of, you know. You, the West Coast, everybody you know, abandoned me. Life, that sort of thing. I hear you. I, thought, I think you had one of your uh, jamborees or Christmas party. Yeah, some sort of disaster, I'm sure. That. But uh, yeah, nice folks. Nice whiskey that we tried. So we tried this on a Zoom last week. We did. They were kind enough to send us a full bottle. Great big bottle. Yeah, they sent us this. They sent us some rye. And they sent us their gin, their Texas gin. A spit. Okay. Hey. Always like to hear the pop. Now, well, go ahead, pour. The problem with the bottle, what don't you get? The wide neck. You don't get the glug glug. No. Bug. No glug glug. Nothing. Nothing. No glug glug. Nothing. It kind of sloshes. Yeah, kind of like your pour. in there. Sloshy. Hey, now. Come on, man. What, you got the palsy? I do. I got the palsy. You got the palsy? I got the palsy. You got the palsy? Who's I got ball? the palsy. What about the, what about the Sylvia's? I got, got the, the Peters. Sylvia's? I got the Peters and the Can't you get the Sylvia's? I got the Peters and the Pauls. Yeah. Nick, 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 Nick. And <laughs> I am Gus. And I am Gus. Let me just focus. So we, okay. we have uh, the Maverick Whiskey. Yeah. Is there something to read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read something about it. Okay, so this is from Dr. Kenneth Maverick. We founded Maverick Whiskey in 2017 as a destination distillery in the heart of San Antonio, adjacent to the Alamo, as a way to celebrate our family and Texas heritage, says Dr. Kenneth Maverick, the founder. Our distillery, housed in the restored historic Lockwood Bank building, carries on the spirit of Samuel Maverick with the potent flavors of our new barrel-proof straight bourbon. Any Maverick will appreciate its gusto. The Samuel Maverick barrel-proof straight bourbon whiskey, that's a lot to say, is distilled from a mash of 72% Texas-grown corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. It is aged a minimum of two years in new charred white oak barrels. The Texas Barrel Proof Straight Bourbon Whiskey is non-chill filtered and hand-bottled at barrel proof. 57% alcohol by volume, 114 proof, ensuring the true bold flavor of this Texas bourbon. It's a whiskey with a high five. Big five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Yeah, 57. What I find interesting is yes. that Dr. Kenneth Maverick yes. is an ophthalmologist. I know. So he corrects vision uh -huh. and then makes this, which then might distort some vision <laughs> a little <laughs> bit later. Distort it. Yes, it will. <laughs> yes, it will. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're we going in. So we tried this a couple weeks Cheers. ago, and I have to say it built. It, it, it like built up. But the first time I tried it, I was like, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. But you drink it more, and it does have to Yeah, as we right. had the conversation, I think I enjoyed this more. Much yeah. like the rye as well. And this is a, a two-year-old. They're, they're brand new, basically. Right. Um, they've laid this down. Two-year-old whiskey. And it is, uh, you know, when it gets to three, when it gets to four, when it gets to five. Uh -huh. Let's see what else happens. And it sounds like from the conversation that they don't really have as much of a problem with evaporation as, like... Like a wick, because they, they put the barrels like in the base. The barrels are kept inside, and the, and the inside is a little more climate controlled. And, right. And, um, but they I keep was, like a window open or a door open. To I get was, to... Yeah, I was expecting um, the, the typical um, angel share is about 2% a year. Right. And I was expecting them to say it was like 10 or 12 or something. Right. Like and, Balcones or, uh, or Amro or, or, or any of the Amro's or any of those guys. And what he said was they lose around five. Right. So. A two-year whiskey in one of those other places might be more like a like a ten-year-old whiskey because you're five times at aging. Yeah. Um, what they do is they use thirties um, instead of fifties for the barrels. Okay, so, so it touches the wood a little bit more. And I'm sorry, what? And they have <laughs> about two and a half times the aging. So something that's two years, this might be more like a five-year whiskey. Mm -hmm. And then because the barrel's a little bit smaller, yeah. it might be more like a six or seven-year in terms of the finish. Okay. Um, again, you're not going to say it's that old because it isn't. It's right. still only two years, but the rounded out flavors might be more. It smells good. It's almost like it's got like a caramel popcorn note. Yeah, you know, like a little bit of sweetness to it, and, and then you get that like that little burnt. And the um, popcorn edge. the mash is all Texas grains, and it's this is one of their Texas a feed yeah. corn, which apparently is a little bit sweater, a little yeah, higher sugar content, said, yeah. and it makes about seventy percent of the mash. Right, right. So seventy two. Well, that's about 70%, 72. isn't it? I'm sorry, but Mr. I, it's 72. Mr. Budgets. 
And does it say what the rest of it is? Yes. I said it. You weren't paying attention, were you? Um, I would like to hear it again. Okay. 78, 72% corn, 28% rye, and 10% malted barley. That's more than 100%. Seven, I'm sorry. <laughs> 72, 18. 18. And 10. I'm and sorry. 10. Not 28. There we go. I have to blow this up, you know. I gave you my cheaters. I can't see. Sorry. Yeah, it's like a, there's almost like a buttered popcorn or like a caramel popcorn yeah. or something like that. You know, you get like a little buttery nut to it and then the caramel and yeah. a little... You know, not too much char. Like, I'm not getting any, like, darkness. It's all, like, lightly sweet. Maybe, like, a cream corn also. Cream corn. Oh. Well, you know, like, that sweetness of the cream oh, I corn. I know what you mean. Hmm. Smells great. Going in. Hmm. It's got some heat. It brings 57%. the heat. 57%. They're not messing around. It brings the heat, but it's not, it's not not drinkable like this. No. It's a nice sipper. That's good. It's a, nice it's a little astringent. It's a little thin, like I don't think it's particularly viscous. Yeah, and the, and the finish is in the back of your throat, not in your, you know, esophagus. Yeah. You right. don't feel the burn. You just get a lot of that. For two years old, I mean, it's got a nice balance. Yeah. You know, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. Um, I, I, I kind of wish it was a little oilier, but I don't think, I, I don't typically get that with like American whiskeys. Yeah. I think that's more maybe like a malted barley thing. Yeah, I don't think they get the viscous kind of nature. You know, and like, I'm wondering if that's also because of the, maybe that... The corn liquor is a little um, thinner. Maybe. Maybe. I, don't I know. really don't know. No not idea. as syrupy. Not as but syrupy. you know how like with some of the malted yeah. barleys that we get some of those and it's just that, that, that mouthfeel? It's yeah. So it doesn't have the greatest mouthfeel. Yeah. It's a little like thin and wispy. But it packs a punch. It, and it's certainly at 57%. This is a nice sipper. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you'd cocktail with this because mm. it's... You, why would you? You can just drink it by itself. So I took a sip and I, and I chewed it a little. I let it Because you got to chew your whiskey. You got to chew your whiskey, son. <laughs> so I let it just kind of sit there for a little while. And it gets really, really nice. Yeah. You get a nice brownness to it. Yeah. You get those sweet notes. You get that little bit of, um, you know, the little spicy notes, little woody notes. You know, it's good. It's really good. I like it. I like you know, it's two years. They've only been open for, what, yeah. five years? Yeah. Is all they've been in business. So, you know, and we tried their gin. Their gin was really nice. Gin was nice. The, was rye, really, the rye was nice. That, they were all really, really yeah. good. It's nice. You know, um, and and the big thing is they they have someone who's invested in making a whiskey, right? And they actually went and invested in a guy who can make whiskey. Mm -hmm. So Kenneth Maverick doing a great job, brings in Kevin Graham, who has experience working in some North Carolina distillery, and uh, he really knows what he's doing. He's put together a, a nice product, and I like the fact that they're trying to source everything from Texas, right. that they're not just going and getting. Juice from somebody and put it in a barrel and Which, call it Texas whiskey. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but, but they're not doing that. They're right. actually going out and trying to do something themselves. And they're using a, um, a grain clearing house or whatever from Texas to go and get all the Texas, the rye from Texas, the, uh, the corn from Texas. Mm -hmm. So it, it's nice that this really is a Texas whiskey. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would go, I'd go 89. Really? I don't, I don't know if I'm that high, but, but 80, this, 80, is, this is it's solid B. Plus. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's around that area. 78 for me. This is solid B+. Plus. Well, we're close. We're in the ballpark. Yeah. It's not quite an A. I wish it was no. a little bit richer, maybe. And, and I think as it ages, maybe it'll get there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but as it is now, this is quite a sipper. No, and I love the fact they sent us a whole bottle yeah. because we can use this over and over again. No, and, and not only do they send us a bottle, they send us a beautiful bottle. Oh, yeah. You know, it's very cool. It's got the cool label. It's It's got a nice cap. The, the, the cap could be a little tighter. That's, that's and one of, one of the things that we've noticed from some of our other uh, conversations is that there's been a big bottle shortage. Right. And apparently, they, they actually went and they, they bought them just ahead of the curve, and they haven't run into any problems. Right. So everything they have has similar shaped bottles. Right. And they have no problem bottling. So if you were to go there, apparently there's a nice hotel down the street. Mm -hmm. They have a nice restaurant here on the location. And you can buy these products right there. So if you are in San Antonio, visiting Alamo or friends or doing whatever, right. the River Walk, mm -hmm. um, stop in there. And, and it, it, sure, it's a worthwhile stop. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, sir, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we, we have more of it to no. uh, enjoy. Enjoy again. And share with friends. So, Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to Maverick Whiskey and the great city of San Antonio, Texas. There you go. Cheers. Right. Cheers, folks.